Hello and welcome to our painting video for British camouflage vehicles as featured in the Desert Rats expansion for Flames of War. While the model featured is the unique looking Grant, the techniques shown are equally applicable for the Crusaders and Humber Armoured cars painted in the camouflage scheme shown in the book. Before switching the camera on, I gave the model an all over spray with DAK sand with one of our very convenient spray cans. If you don't have access to the spray cans, you could brush paint the colour on instead. If you are brush painting the colour, I would suggest priming your model in grey instead of black, as painting a light colour on a dark colour can be time intensive in order to get full coverage. Next I brush paint the camouflage pattern on using Firefly Green. Because it is a fairly dark colour being painted over a fairly light colour, you'll need to make a couple of passes in order to get complete coverage. Then I give the model a liberal coat of Bradley shade in order to add a bit of depth to the paint job. After the Bradley shade has dried, I carefully repaint the DAK sand, being careful to leave recesses and around prominent details the darker colour. To finish off repainting the sand colour, I dry brush DAK sand over the areas covered in that colour to pick up any raised details missed with the brush painting. Next I repaint the camouflage pattern using Firefly Green, again being careful to avoid recesses and around prominent details to keep them the darker colour. Then I dry brush the green painted areas with Firefly Green to pick up any raised details missed with the brush painting. After that I paint the tracks and road wheels black. Next I give all of the edges of the model a dry brush with dry dust. Then I paint the edges and insides of the tracks with motherland earth. Then I carefully give the earth coloured parts of the tracks a wash with Rommel shade to help the track detail show. Following working on the tracks I paint the wooden tool handles with battlefield brown. I finish painting the tools by painting the metal tool parts and tow cable with dark gun metal. I finish the painting of this model by dry brushing a little bit of worn rubber on the muzzles of the guns to simulate soot from firing.
A few steps from start to finish gives you a pleasing looking model ready to hit the table. Thank you for watching.